Good morning, good morning, good morning. April 11th, 2018. It's a humpity bump hump day. Yeah, we'll get into this in a minute. Anyway, out there. Let's go see what today really is not all about. <laughs> National Cheese Fondue Day. Yeah, how many people still cheese fondue? Yeah, half this generation didn't even know what it is. National 8-Track Tape Day. Yeah, I don't even know what those look like, some people out there. National Submarine Day. National Barber Shop Quartet Day. And National Bookmobile Day. Lighter rose, oh, lighter rose, oh. Or the Wells Fargo wagon is a coming down the street. I wish I knew what he was coming for. Yep. Yeah, them were the days. <sighs> Daisy, Daisy, wouldn't you want to go? Yep, I did a little barber shopping back in the day. Yep, somebody want to know the quote of the day? Suck it up, Buttercup, Dr. Robin Rushlow, a.k.a. Dr. Blind Guy, a.k.a. Blind Cigar Guy. Hey, you know what? Stick it in your quazudida. Somebody said they never see me finish a, a cigar. They always see beginning cigars. They swore that they could come here and find all kinds of things bigger than nubs. That's a nub tool. I told you I had an excellent nub tool. When it gets so small it won't fit on this nub tool, I use this nub tool. Anyway, my friend, it's down there where that one just took a little singe off the lip. See? So, ha, ha, food you had one all ready to go. Somebody gave me a rash of shit about yesterday's. I should say rash of ash. <laughs> Said I didn't show a, pu a punch, I just talked about it. What do you call that, ding nose? That's a punch. That's a punch if you've ever seen one. Ta-da! Goes away even. Ah, you want to get picky? I didn't see you pick your nose. How do you know you even got a nose? How do you know I don't eat crayons? I don't, but Martin does. <laughs> you see, you don't know what you're talking about. You really don't. Just really tease me off sometimes about everybody thinks they know everything and they just got to jump in and tell you you're wrong. I don't know why. Just like this. Flick my bit. No, actually I'm flipping my Zippo. Yeah. Come on, people. You're driving me crazy. In fact, you are all crazy. I'm the sane one. I don't nitpick anything. You know? You want to see a great ashtray? Especially in your car? Ha <laughs> ha. Fits in a cup holder, take your cigar, turn it around, let it sit in your ash, ash can like that. Told you this was going to be Cigar 101 Part 2. Number 2. God. Yeah, just like this is a humidor bag. A humi bag. Yeah, my buddy's at JR. My question is, that's it, my question. 
You're just full of it out there. You know, if I want to use this, and you can hear it buzzing to light my cigars, or that to light my cigars, or spend a little bit more intimate time with my cigars and light it with this. Hear the buzz? That's plasma. That's a plasma lighter that plugs into a USB port. God. You know, that's my choice. If I decide I have to go somewhere that I can't smoke cigars, but I can do other things or got to be quick in and out, That's right, Vipo. Tastes like a cigar, works like a cigar. There's the cartridge, there's the battery. I get tobacco, Cuban, and cigar flavor. Now they got about 15 other flavors, but I don't care. I don't want a fruity, gooty, grapey, purple, you know, whatever. It's the best one out of 20 of them that I've tried. This is the closest thing to a real cigar. And it's the closest thing to a real Cuban I ever smoked. So, now, if you really want to get technical, yes, this is it, right here. And then light a spill, cedar spill. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I have a big stinky. I have a red one here, a blue one back there for visitors. Come on, people. It's so simple. I light my cigars the way I want to light them. I cut my cigars the way I want to cut them. Some of them, I use a V-notch. You know? Some of them, I use a guillotine. Some of them that are 80 and 90 ring gauge, I got to use my big guillotine because nothing else will fit. awesome my awesome Cuban cutter scutter as I call it only fits up to 60s then when you get as talented as I am you can cut any cigar with those you want <laughs> and smart ass fingers off at the same time anyway Cigar 101, more to come. Part two was answering some of the stupid questions that I didn't go through yesterday. Like you said a punch, but you didn't show one. If you don't know what a punch is, then you really need to go back to cigar school or talk to your tobacco shop, your B&M, and get it. Anyway, this is a Maca Nudo in Inspirado White. I would consider this about a 45-50 on the 0 to 100 list for mild to full. It has some impressive stuff. Comes out of Honduras. The wrapper is Ecuadorian Connecticut, believe it or not. That's what they're telling me. They have a white and a black. Somebody said, oh, I can't afford Macanudos. That's way out of my budget. Well, 
you see, you're not too right. A box of 20 is 116 bucks. So what does that make that? About $5.40 a stick. And that's a Churchill. A Robusto is 103 bucks a box, give or take. Depends upon where you go. The filler, yeah, I got to talk about this. It is Nicaraguan and Indonesian. Hey, what can I say? And it has an Indonesian wrapper, Sumatran. In the, I'm sorry, not wrapper, but binder is Indonesian Sumatra. The filler is Nicaraguan and Indonesian. And I kind of get some real subtle. If you want sort of a cigar that has flavor, but very subtle tones to it, nothing overwhelming, nothing's going to bite you, nothing's going to jump on you, at least in my opinion, and we know what opinions are, but after smoking for over 48 years, cigars, trying everything I can out there, smoking 7 to 10 cigars a day, I think I have a handle on some of these tastes, but then again, it's just my taste. You may get something completely different out of this, but everything is kind of subtle. Very subtle coffee, very subtle, uh, almost like an oaky woodiness to it. Now this is about the fourth one I've had, and that's one of the other parts of Cigar 101 I want to talk about. But guess what? That's tomorrow. In the meantime, smoke what you like, like what you smoke, and above all, kick some ash.